the fourth princess. Truman? Huh? Which one of these outfits should I wear to school tomorrow? Since when do you care about clothes? Wait, have the twins invaded your brain somehow? Like, with help from aliens? <laughs> <laughs> Don't bother trying to look good for your first day of school tomorrow. Have you seen your new teacher? Uh, no. Allow us to show you. Uh, he does look a little strict. Are you kidding? He looks like an angry caveman. They call him Mr. Mean. And he doesn't like anyone. I'm sure he'll be especially mean to you two. That can't be true. Mm. With this key, please take me to the special land called Magity! You're here. The kingdom is being battered by a storm. Ah! I can't stand the sound of thunder. Uh, Sir Kitty Cat, make it stop. What is it? The uh, dragon? The uh, sea serpent? <laughs> the storm has caused a hot air balloon to spin perilously out of control. Oh, no! Someone might get hurt! may enter the castle unless they are announced beforehand. Ooh, the protocol is absolutely clear. We must find out who she is. She's wearing a medal around her neck. Would that help? Oh. <gasps> That's the symbol of the Fluffy Kingdom. She must be Princess Dulcet. Oh, do straighten up. We have a very important guest. Call the royal fanfare. Prepare Hmm. I think we should try to wake her up first. Oh, Shasha! You call, Princess? This bear's hot air balloon fell out of the sky, and she's been asleep ever since. Can you help? Of course. I'll just use my wakey wakey wand. Mm -hmm. Not this one. Uh, not this one. Oh, here we are. <laughs> this wand can wake up anybody, even a statue. We don't care about statues. This is a princess. Do hurry. Ah! Hmm. Who are you and why are you staring at me? Where am I? It's natural to be confused, princess. Welcome to our castle. I'm Princess Billy. Ah, what's this filthy blanket doing on me? I assure you there is not. One filthy thing in this entire <laughs> castle. Maybe you'd like to rest in my room, Princess, while you get your strength back. No, thank you. I have seen enough of your shabby castle. Prepare me an escort. I wish to go home immediately. La, la, la. It was a pleasure to receive you, Your Majesty. Next time, we shall hold a splendid gala in your honor. Uh, uh, oh! Uh, not very polite. Maybe she's overreacting. After all she's been through, it's no <clears> wonder. <throat> Are we going or what? Huh? <laughs> there was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name. Oh, B I N G O B I N G O B I N G O. And Stop the carriage. I have never heard worse singing in my entire life. You, sir, are yowling. What? 
do I yell? Mm, who's making all this noise on our land? Uh, these are the twin princesses, Marie and Antoinette. I insist you not look me in the eye. Where did this bossy bear come from? This is Princess Dulcet, and we have the honor of escorting her back to the Fluffy Kingdom. No fair! We're the ones who should be escorting a princess. Fine by me. Huh? We can't let you go with them, princess. It's our duty to see you home safely. Right this way, princess. Pay no attention to that raggedy bunch. What a relief to be rid of them. Huh? Love her! Can't this tin can go any faster? <laughs> Sydney is a little slow. Slow? It's like we're on the Sloth Express on the road to nowhere. <laughs> Good one, Dulcie. Ah, stop the carriage! Ah! Ah! Chop, chop. Get me home soon and you'll get a big reward. Told by the great sorcerer's teacup, I've been looking everywhere for you. There's been a terrible mistake. I got my wakey wakey wand mixed up with my wake up in a bad mood wand. I might have made you a little bit mean. Don't worry, I can fix everything with my back to normal wand. There you go. Oh. Bye bye. Oh, hello. Could you help me, please? I just want to go home. Hmm. Of course, Princess. Princess Dulcet is really sweet and shy? Hmm, it's all my fault. I used the wrong one. Breaking news, viewers. The Magic -y Royal Guard, responsible for protecting Princess Dulcet of Fluffy Kingdom, allowed her to be taken prisoner by the Serene Highnesses Marie and Antoinette. <gasps> That's a lie. She wanted to go with them. Never mind that now. We have to go set Princess Dulcet free. Whoa! Look at those guards! We'll never get past them. Let me try. Shh, not yet. Shasha, can you repair Princess Dulcet's hot air balloon? Of course. I'll just use my fix-it wand, which I have right here. Good. Bring it back here when you're done and pick us up. Okay, what's our plan? Wait! Where's Sir Kitty Cat? Over there! That'll teach those pandas to slur the good name of the magic -y royal guard. Let's go! Have you come to set me free? Yes, quick, before the twin princesses get back. Too late! Marie, what do you think of our new remote control throne room doors? <laughs> well, Antoinette, it does make it hard for anyone to escape. <laughs> huh? Where do you think those go? I don't know, but it's our only hope. Come on! <laughs> You're wasting your time. You're all oh. our prisoners now. <laughs> ah, that was so much fun. Give up, Billy. You can't escape. <laughs> I think we can. Yoo-hoo, princess, all fixed. Oh. Huh? Look. Hey, get back our remote control. How are we supposed to get down? I'm sure you'll figure it out. <gasps> yeah, yes! Thank you all so much. Please come and visit me soon. We'd like that very much, Princess. I'm sorry Sir Kitty Cat's not here to say goodbye. I'm not saying goodbye. I'm escorting the princess back to her kingdom, like any good royal guard. Bye! <laughs> Bye, thank you. That we thought Princess Dulcet was unbearable. 
I guess we've learned you should never judge people too quickly. <gasps> What's that noise? <laughs> I took the liberty of installing a nobility detector. Thanks to this clever device, we will never miss another royal visitor again. Everything's back to normal here. We are so lucky to have a princess like you. And I'm lucky to have a place like magic -y. It doesn't matter what I wear on the first day of school if Mr. Mean is going to be my teacher. Hmm. Billy, we were just joking around about your new teacher. We don't know what he's like at all. We made all that up. You know, people who seem mean at first are sometimes very nice. And the other way around. Ha! Let's go, Truman. Was she talking about us? <laughs> uh.